Now, traveling on Lagos Ferry will now attract cash rewards, so says the Lagos State Government. This comes as the government announced that its waterways are now safer. The managing director of Lagos State Ferry Services, Lag Ferry, Abdubak Ladi Balogu, chaired a press conference covered by our correspondent, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. Lagos remains one of the busiest cities in Nigeria. It's home to over 500 active startups with a massive consumer market. Commuting within a state densely populated as Lagos has been Herculean in spite of alternative means such as water transportation. All that is about to change now with a reward system in place. Lag like ferry users are now to receive cash rewards when they use the waterways. Anywhere you are in Lagos and you are patronizing Lagos State Ferry Services, once you spend 5,000 naira worth of money, no matter the trips, if it's one way or two ways or three ways or whatever, your 5,000 naira qualifies you for a full token. And instantly, instantly, you will be entered into a draw that can make you win either 500,000, 1 million, 3 million, 50 million, 100 million. The core values of the initiative is said to create responsive paths to meet the needs of Lagosians. We as government seems to be of the opinion that you need to say thank you back to people that are making it happen. And that's why this reward system is being encouraged. So, if you have all the uh, Nalai Nalai, Nalai Nalai, you don't get anything, no. You have to be part of it before you know it's not true, not true. As a consumer, you, you use this token, and you believe that you, you've used up to 5,000 naira on record, and you expect to, be, to qualify for the, for the draws and the token. So definitely, if you think there's something wishy-washy, you can as well approach us. That is transparency. In an effort to raise the standards for safety measures, the government is set to establish a command and control center to monitor activities on the waterways. The state government as well is about to commission the first of its kind in West Africa, a command and a control center. The whole idea of that command and control center is to be able to effectively monitor all of the activities going on on the waterways in terms of safety, in terms of security, and of course gather data for the government to be able to make informed decisions. And this will also help us be able to respond to emergencies even much quicker. Um, yes, we know there were unfortunate incidents in the recent time, but prior to those two incidents, which were back to back for nine months, we didn't have any incidents on our water, which is the first of its kind. All eyes, especially travelers and waters, are looking forward to the impact of the project. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.